In this video, I'm going to show you how to add in some music to your video to make it more engaging for the viewers and to keep them more entertained throughout the video. We all know that the watch time on YouTube now is really important. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add in some music to your video. Of course, the very first thing we want to do is we want to import it by dragging into Sony Vegas. We can either drag it in or go to file and open. Both ways work and they do the same thing. Now that we've got our video loaded, we want to right click here, go to properties and then disable resample. Once we've done that, we are now ready to edit the video. Another thing that I would recommend for you to do is to go to this gear icon up here and then go to video. If your frame rate is almost a 60 FPS, I would suggest to put it to 60 and make sure this is disabled. Have every other setting the same as me. Make sure that the width and height is the same as the original video size. And now we're ready to press apply, press OK. And now we can actually add in the music. As we all know that when it comes to adding music to our video on YouTube, it is important to follow the rules because if you don't, you will risk your channel getting a copyright strike or copyright claim. The difference between both of them is that one of them will make it so that all the money which you are earning from the video will go to the creator or the creator's network. And the copyright strike is basically where the video gets taken down because the creator does not want you to use that music. Now you're probably wondering like what can I actually do? Well there is a simple solution and that is to go on YouTube and search up copyright free music. Some of the most popular copyright free channels are Audio Library. This is one that I use a lot. Their music is quite good for tutorial, vlogs and even gaming. You have other ones such as NCS. This is the most popular one. I would say this is the number one place you would go to get your music from. They have a lot of great music. They have different songs with different colors. So this represents like drum step and then you have some other colors. Then you have breaking copyright. This is one that I used to use. It's not as popular, but it still has some great music to use if you're looking for chill music, drum step or drum and bass and some other ones. And of course we have the official YouTube audio library. This is where you can get some copyright free sounds and even music. For my video, I'm going to go and get this one right here. Turn a weekday dinner into a winner. Save money, live better, Asda. I think I'm going to use this one. What you want to do is scroll down to the description and then you want to go and find where you have the free download. Click right there. So we want to use this one, NCS free download. All right, so now that I've actually downloaded the song, all you want to do is you want to drag this down into the timeline here. And you don't have to worry about the audio track because it will create one for you automatically. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show on my video down just a little bit because it's too long. Most of the time when you import videos, they will be really loud. So to actually turn it down, you can use this right here and drag it down. You also have the option here on this side for volume by turning that down. And for the very last one, you have the master audio or the master bus. And this is right here. If you drag this down, it pretty much lowers the volume of all the audio clips. The very last thing I'm going to do with my project right now is I'm going to give it a fade in and fade out for the audio. This is so that if your video doesn't start off really well, or it just starts off really quick, you can make it a lot longer to start up. So as you can see, this will pick up slowly and then eventually play. But we also want to end it so it's the same by dragging the corner out and then changing this one to this one. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment on what you think of the video. 
You can also leave a tutorial suggestion if you like. Check out my social media links. There will be a link in the description. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.